NBC, this is Aaron, Mutha Alamera, and today I'm doing a response video for Thomas at Merciful Metal. Uh, I just discovered his channel earlier this week, he's got some great content, he loves metal, um, which I do of course. Uh, he's into the more extreme, like death metal, um, threat and all the really heavy stuff, I like a lot of that too, but, um, and he likes a lot of the traditional metal. Um, really cool guy, um, great records, he's got an amazing collection, and um, just doing a response for him. And um, the first question is, show your favorite record from your country. So I'm from the United States, so I mean, I could have went anywhere with this. So I'll just show my favorite two releases from this year that are American. So first up, I've got um, Titans, of um, Titans of Creation from Testament. Great album. Big Testament fan. I have been since the 80s. Um, Practice What You Preach is always my favorite album. There's, but I like all their stuff. I actually need to get to practice what you preach. I don't have that one, but this is a really killer record here. Um, it's on this cool vinyl. Double record. Amazing, amazing record. One of the best thrash albums to come out in a while. Great stuff here. And for my other favorite from this year, I'll go with uh, Forever Black, Sarah Thungle. Love this album. It's the first album they put out in 19 years, a studio album anyway. And uh, it just sounds like they just picked up right where they left off. I'm a big fan of Sarah Thungle. Um, great, great album here. That sounded cool. Pretty cool looking vinyl too. Metal Blade. It's got a poster in here of the cover. And uh, this album is amazing. I, I really like these, but this band. Um, they kind of have, the singer has a really unique sound. Um, some people don't like his voice. I really do. Once you get used to it though, it's he's just a great singer. And uh Let's see, this is a pretty cool poster in there. Great big ass poster. So, yeah, Sarah Thungle and Testament, probably my two favorite um, American releases this year. And then uh, the next question um, show me a record from your. The band that you have the most records from. So I have two that are really close, and I have over 40 records from each of them. So I'll show one of each. And the first is the uh, is not metal. <laughs> it's the Beatles. So I'll show them. This is my favorite Beatles record, the White Album. And um, the reason I'm showing this one is because there's a couple songs on here which I feel are the uh, start of heavy metal. It's where uh, heavy metal started. And, um, you know, of course everyone knows Helter Skelter, which is one of them. But the other song, which I think is like one of the very first metal songs, is called Everybody's Got Something to Hide Except for Me and My Monkey. And it's, you know, it's way ahead of its time. 1968, I believe this came out, maybe 69. Uh, and it's just, that song, uh, fast, got heavy riff kind of. Um, and it's just really, really interesting lyrics. And I think it's like one of the very first heavy metal songs in history. So, Beatles. And then my other band I have over 40 records of is uh, my second favorite band, Kiss. And uh, this is one of their most metal records here. This is a very heavy, great record, Creatures of the Night. Love it. My favorite drummer, Eric Carr. Favorite guitarist, Ace Fraley. And uh, my second favorite band. And uh, this is a great, great record, Creatures of the Night. War Machine, heavy as hell, you know. It's on Killer. It's just a really heavy record. One of the heaviest they've done, except for some of their 80s stuff, which was a little more metal. I mean, their later 80s, they got a little heavier. Um, okay, so question three. Show me your uh, favorite death metal record. Now, I don't have a whole lot of death metal. I've, I like death metal, but I just don't have a whole lot of it. Um, but I'm going to go with these. I'll show two of them. <laughs> this one's Massacre. I just got this a few months ago. I really like it. I've been playing I played it last Tuesday, actually. Good record. I, I really like this. Um, you know, death metal. It's a little, uh, you know, it's, it's death metal. It's extreme, of course. Here's the vinyl. Um, I never, uh, I always loved the music of death metal. The vocals when I was younger kind of threw me. I didn't like the vocals so much, but I'm getting to where I really like them now. So I'm starting to pick up more death metal. And this is a really good record, Massacre. And uh, another one I have that I really like is Curse of Samsara. Really like this record. Um, it's just, you know, great stuff. And look at this cover. Amazing record. I like it a lot. Pretty cool vinyl, too. And this is kind of a one you don't see every day. But I'm sure um, Thomas probably has it. <laughs> he's got all this. He's got so much great stuff. So, okay. Next up, 
show me some some boobs. <laughs> so, so okay. So what I did is I went. This is this is actually not a death metal band, but they're the Eagles of death metal, and it's one of my favorite records. I love this. They're a great band. They're just uh, rock and you know heavy rock, murdering on metal at times. Great hooks, killer stuff. Josh Homme from uh, Caius, Queens of the Stone Age, and uh, there they are, crazy guys. And uh, so there we go, there's the Eagles of Death Metal. And then this here is not a metal record at all, but it's got some metal elements. They play heavy, some of their songs are, are kind of metal, kind of a metal, kind of like if Beastie Boys was to meet uh, uh, the metal, you know, just a little, but some metal mix. And they actually play their own instruments, which is cool. So it's a Bloodhound Gang. Hooray for boobies. So I thought that was pertinent to this. And this is a really good record. It's got the Ballad of Tasty Lane. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, Yummy Down on this is pretty metal. And then the, the record itself. There you go. So there you go. And then uh, the fifth question. What is a record or a band you'd like to see a documentary about? about? And um, I'm going to go with my favorite band. I'm wearing the shirt. It's Clutch. I'd love to see a documentary on this record. This uh, self-titled Clutch record. It was their uh, second um, studio record. I would, I just love to see um, like old footage of old Clutch documentary about this. It's such a great record. Um, you know, they're if you don't know Clutch, they're uh, kind of a... They're unclassifiable, kind of. They got their heavy metal, but they're blues, but they're punk, and they've got, you know, all kinds of different sounds. Uh, sludgy, you know, doom metal. This is more of a doom metal type. You know, Space Grass, Escape from the Prison Planet. Great stuff on here. And uh, yeah, so I'd like to see some old Clutch, because you don't see a lot of Clutch stuff. And that's my favorite band. Clutch and Kiss are my two favorites, so. That's what I'd like to see there. And um, everyone go sub to Thomas's channel. It's Merciful Metal. Great channel. He's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going back and starting to watch his older videos. He's got about 20 videos, I think. And they're all, he's just really good. And um, all right, everybody. Um, have a good day. Rock on. Keep it heavy.